For Young Guitar and Young Guitar Readers, my name is Rusty Cooley and it's an honor to be here uh, featured in this DVD feature for Young Guitar Magazine. Uh, Young Guitar is uh, an amazing magazine, one of the best guitar magazines in the world and I've uh, all of my favorite guitar players and guitar heroes growing up were always featured in this magazine. So it's a big deal for me to finally be here and grace the pages. So today I'm going to be teaching you um, 10 really intense lead guitar licks. And, uh, and I'm going to be playing a couple of songs from my debut instrumental CD um, on Lion Music, just titled Rusty Cooley. And it was uh, remixed, remastered, and re-released um, last September of 2008. So that is out. So you might want to check it out. The songs that I'm playing today are from this CD. Um, also, um, some of the gear that I'm using today is this is my um, seven string signature model by Dean. It's called the RC7G, which stands for the graphic, which is the uh, really cool artwork on this guitar. And uh, I'm also going to be playing, I don't know if you can see it in here, but the, uh, the gear that I'm using today is a Rocktron Prophecy 2 preamp. And the Rocktron Prophecy 2 comes from the factory stock with five of my personal settings. And, uh, and I'm running the Prophecy 2 into a VHT 292 power amp. And uh, for a cab, I'm just here at my house in my home personal practice room slash studio. I'm just using one of my old Fender M80 cabinets from, uh, it's probably, you know, 15, 20 years old. Um, on the floor, I'm using, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm using an all-access MIDI pedal by Rocktron. And um, if I can grab this without making too much noise, I'm also using the Rusty Cooley um, Overdrive pedal that just debuted this year at the 2000, uh, 2009 NAMM show, and it's put out by Protone Pedals. Um, so that's the Overdrive pedal that I'm using. Uh, and I think that's it for my gear. Um, my guitars are tuned down a half step, and this is a seven string guitar. So when I'm, uh, when I'm playing these examples, make sure you take account for the seven string, because if you're not watching for that, it can look like I'm on the wrong string. And I tune my guitars down a half step, so if you want to tune to me, it's just an E flat. Here's my six string open. All right, and uh, I guess it's time to get busy. So we're going to be going through a series of licks that I come up with for this uh, lesson. And the first lick is in C minor. It's going to be uh, sweet picking. And it's, uh, it borrows tones from the C minor family or the C minor chord from the 7 to 9 and 13. And uh, the lick goes like this. <laughs> There it was a little bit faster. On the picking, you're just going to go up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, up, down, hammer, down, 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 up, pull off, up, 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 down, hammer, down, 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 pull off, up, 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 up. Anyway, all the picking notation should be uh, in the tab. So. Anyway, let's move on to lick number two. Now, this is a Dorian kind of lick, and I've just labeled it as B minor 7-6, uh, because we're kind of borrowing from that, that family. And it's, uh, it's a sequence that I kind of uh, borrowed from one of my guitar heroes, Sean Lane. Sean is one of, my, one of my big influences, and I learned a Sean Lane lick off of one of his, instru his instructional videos or something like that, and I kind of took the idea and ran with it, which is exactly what you guys want to do. Any of the stuff that I'm teaching you here today, you, you know, don't just stop at learning these licks. Take everything that you learn from these licks and try to apply them in as many different areas of your playing as possible. And uh, anyway, here's this lick. <laughs> Alright, that was
was lick two. Um, lick number three is a C minor pentatonic lick. And at the end of the lick, I'm going to be borrowing some other tones from the C minor scale and the uh, C blues scale. And this is a seven string lick. It requires some big stretching. So you definitely want to take it slow with this lick at first and memorize it and work it up to speed and make sure you're really warmed up um, because of the stretching. <laughs> All right, you'll also notice that I did some tapping on the end, and I tap with my uh, middle finger and my ring finger. And it's not tapping in the traditional sense where you're doing the kind of thing. It's, it's tapping in a way that you're doing rolls. So if you're not watching a guitar player, you, you can't really tell that it's tapping. It just kind of sounds like an extended legato line. And also another note on my legato playing, when I'm playing legato, I only pick the first note of the ascending strings so there's never any picking at all when I descend. Actually, let me do that one again. All right. So on to lick number four. This is an F sharp augmented uh, triad, and I'm using it in a, a chordal situation of F sharp mixolydian flat six, which is mode five of melodic minor. And uh, when you think about the melodic minor's formula, it has a flat six in it, which is in harmonically a sharp five. So you can play augmented triads um, over that. And this is all legato two. And I'm going to be picking the first note of each group. <laughs> A little bit faster. All right, that's lick number four. Borrow my, my cheap sheets here. Um, lick number five is, um, let's see, what is lick number five? Ah, this is triads. Or, or seventh chords. It's uh, F sharp minor seven, C sharp minor seven, and uh, let's see. C sharp, F sharp, and B. B minor seven. Sorry, it's been a while since I looked at this stuff. So you're gonna be doing one finger taps and each lick starts with just the first finger tapping and then pulling off to the index finger of your left hand and then hammering, so. All right, there's that lick. Up next is a C natural minor, um, four note per string, uh, alternate picking lick, and uh, this one goes like this. And we're also doing groups of four, five, six, seven, seven. time. All right. Up next is a G harmonic minor um, alternate picking lick that I add the flat five to. And uh, like I said, it's just harmonic minor with the flat fifth added. And it goes like this. It's a pretty cool lick. You don't even have to play this one really fast. You could do a little bit more phrasy. You 
you know, something like that. Or... All right, that's the G harmonic minor with the flat fifth added. Um, up next is um, D minor add four and G minor add four, and this is basically just two triads um, from the key of D minor. It's kind of like taking the one chord and the four chord and adding the fourth degree of the scale or the fourth of each chord. So in D minor, it's one flat three, four, five, and G minor, it's one flat three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna be repeating these uh, in octaves. So. And uh, that's that one. And you can actually take it backwards too, and that's a pretty cool idea as well. Um, I really like that stuff a lot. I like using my single string triads and, and uh, adding the fourth to it. That sounds pretty cool, it's, which is very similar to the, to the tapping lick that we just did with the C sharp, F sharp, and B minor seven arpeggios that it's tapping with. All right, up next is um, an E minor lick. It's all legato, and again, we're gonna be using four notes per string which four notes per string is one of my favorite things to do. Um, it really gives you a unique sound and really kind of helps separate you from the pack because, I mean, as a guitar player, just about everything is, has been done, so it's hard to, you know, really come up with something fresh and exciting these days. So this is one of the things that allows me to do something um, a little bit more unique for me. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Again, that's got some pretty big stretches in it, as you can see. So take it slow. Um, also, we're dealing with a, a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So even though you're doing four notes per string, you're still doing a triplet kind of feel. A lot of people think that when you're playing four notes per string, it's always just, you know, which is very 16th note or eighth note oriented, which is not always the case. Um, so it looks like we're already up to lick number 10. This is an A minor, key of A minor. And it's uh, four notes per string also, and it's legato. So let's just take a look at what's going on here. So we start off with one, two, three, four, five, and then we change strings with the middle finger. One, two, three, four. So we get a five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So you're doing groups of five and then four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. So it's a little bit of an interesting mixture of notes. And that's a pretty cool lick. And like I was saying earlier, don't just stop at learning these licks. Really dig into them and find out what it is that makes each lick um, tick and try to incorporate all of these ideas into other areas of your playing and uh, practice slowly and make sure that you're memorizing the licks before you attempt them up to speed because you can't play it fast if you don't know where you're going so take your time get it memorized right and uh, you know just have fun with it um, so that wraps up the lick portion of the show. Um, a couple of things I'd like to mention before I um, let you guys go is that if you liked uh, all these examples that you heard here, um, I just released two instructional DVDs with Rock House Method. Uh, they were out last fall. It's Fretboard Autopsy 1 and 2, which is, uh, deals with um, the major scale and the modes derived from it, but not so much a mode-based lesson as it is a fretboard visualization lesson. It just kind of gives you my take on how I've developed fretboard visualization through the years. Um, so if you like this stuff, check it out. I also have instructional DVDs with Chops from Hell, um, fretboard, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Shred Guitar Manifesto, Extreme Pentatonics, The Art of Picking, and Basic Training. And uh, I also have a band called Outworld that has a CD out. So check that out if you're into it. Um, I just recorded a song with keyboard virtuoso Derek Sherinian that'll be on his CD, Molecular Hynosity. We co-wrote a song called Frozen by Fire. And by the time you see this, 
DVD, the CD will already be out. So check it out. All right, I'm Rusty. Thanks so much, man. We'll see you next time.